instant messaging. It all started on the 14th night of March, the night of my parents' 20th wedding anniversary. It was a wonderful sunny day, if memory serves, surprisingly warm for before the beginning of spring. The beautiful summer weather was perfect for the atmosphere of the day. Being married for 20 years is obviously a momentous occasion. So my parents had booked a table at our favorite Italian restaurant. Of course, this was, this was a formal occasion, so I had my best suit on. It was 5.33, and I had just straightened my tie when my phone went off. I'd received a message. That's strange, I thought. That never happens. I checked the message. It was from my mom. It was quite a jumble of numbers and letters, but through the vocabulary stew, I could make it one le uh, legible phrase. Please help me. It should go without saying that this worried me greatly. So I immediately replied, are you okay? Just as instantly, I got another text which read, oops, pocket text. I sighed with all the relief I had and continued to m prepare myself. A few m minutes later, I received yet another message, this time from my dad. I checked the text, and once again, it was a massive mixture of letters and numbers, with the phrase, please help me, concealed within. Creepy though this was, my dad was always a joker, so I presumed he was just joking around, until I was sent another text saying, oops pocket text. Now that sparked panic. The pure unmistak unmistakable panic. Near exactly half a minute passed when I received the exact same two messages from my sister. This could not be coincidental. It just couldn't. In a state of sheer anxiety, I started to run to the restaurant. I made it to a quarter of the way before I was stopped by a police officer. Main road closed, he said. Cute, huge car crash. This was the exact moment I realized what had just happened. I demanded to see the wreckage, a request which was which I was surprised was allowed. When I got there, it wasn't the remains of the car that caught my eye, nor the flames billowing from the destroyed vehicle. No, I was horrified to see the lifeless corpse of my mother, father, and sister. I asked for their estimated time of their deaths. All three of them were killed instantly by the collision at 532, a minute before the very first text.